When you wish upon a star. So now we've taken two journeys. One to stop the darkness from spreading, and the other to put all the lost hearts back where they belong. To tell the truth, neither one was easy. But I sure was glad to be the cricket to write down what happened. Unable to keep his main identity secret, the man of a million voices and personality disorders tries to maintain a low profile by day as voiceover actor Phil Snyder. Anyone can explore the pages of a book. Bring your friends! Come on, rewind, stopper, player! There's lots to see under the sea! Hey! Pinky in the brain! Sir, isn't it true you once built a giant clothes dryer designed to create a worldwide case of static playing? Preposterous! Columbia Tri-Star's Wind in the Willows Oh, stupid animal that I have been! This is the end of everything! I, the popular and handsome toad, the rich and hospitable toad, must languish in this dungeon. More luck! A train in ten minutes! That'll be two dollars. Um... Two dollars, uh, madam, two dollars! Uh, um, uh, look here, the very handsome man that you are, with the lovely moustache! If you could just give me a ticket, I'll send you the money tomorrow! Enough is enough, sir! And Ronald McDonald's Adventure Series. The name's Pinchworm, and you're going on a little ride! <laughs> the ride of your lives! <laughs> Uh, Rob, uh, did you mean F O U R, as in the number four, which is who you are, or did you mean F O R E, as in Watch out! Mike Paul's about to bunk you on the four brain. Four times nine is thirty-six. Four times ten is forty. Four times eleven is forty-four. Four times twelve. What's this? A barber shop for frogs? Huh. Must be where people go to legitimize their lame excuses. When you wish upon a star, your dream.